don't normally take that many requests, but a lot of people have been posting in the comments section if you look at the last few videos. I mean, you can review the new Argos catalog and can you do an highlight video for the Argos catalog? Well, I was walking in my local town centre and I was popped into Argos. Got the Autumn and Winter 2016 Argos catalog. I've always thought over the years the Autumn and Winter catalogs, not just Argos, just generally, are always the better ones because in the summer they have things like barbecues and you know summery things but the autumn and winter ones is where they really ramp up and you know because you know Christmas is coming in you know little Johnny's got to have GI Joe with his Kung Fu grip and stuff like that so yeah we're going to get into this uh, in a second but I'll just explain to what the August catalogue is to anybody outside of the UK but we've got this really mad shop called Autogos. Well, mad's not the, probably the wrong phrase, but it's a kind of a quirky, interesting shop, really, because you can get the catalogue and take it home with you and flick through and see what they've got in there. But you literally, it's like a normal shop from the outside. It's not ridiculously massive, and if anything, they're quite small. It's kind of freaky, actually, uh, how much stuff they can fit in there. But you literally go in, flick through the Argos catalogue, find the code number of what you want, fill out a little piece of paper, take it to the till, pay for it, then you go to either checkpoint A, checkpoint B or checkpoint C, I think they've got, no, they might have checkpoint D, they've got, they used to have just A and B. They will go get it from in the warehouse and bring it back out to you. You know, you don't just get it off a shelf like a normal shop. I used to work there at one point. I've had a lot of Joe jobs over the years, nothing you call a career, a lot of name tags and air nets. There's obviously one with my name on David there, I've got, Another one with Dave on there. It's just it's just stuck on there. I don't know some poor sucker's name underneath that. But even better, one point I was in Simon because the manager had got a, a name tag. He had one in mind when the area managers came round, so he didn't look like a complete moron. So I was Simon for the day. But let's get right into it. One thing that instantly caught my eye just flicking through it is this same day delivery service can't help but thinking they really stretching with that one because obviously don't get me wrong it's one of these things where I say you know most people have got some kind of commitments and people have to be here there and everywhere but they can literally bring it to you at 7 a.m. in the morning well sorry I should say between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. and I'm tempted just to order some it just see if it will come on that same day I mean, imagine ordering something at like five o'clock in the morning and it comes to you before 10. That seems a little bit cool to be honest, but let's uh, have a quick scan through. This was one thing on this though, like you know, just going through the catalogue, that it just instantly reminded me of Wayne's World. It's not a sucking cut, but it may as well be. It's like there's a guy in here who's saying, don't buzz me man, just give me a trim, okay? <laughs> And I've, uh, I know me as relatively neat at the moment, but I always think of Wayne's World as like, you know, like having like, you know, some kind of a fringe or something. But yeah, the sucking cut. This is one thing though as well. Because I've watched so many 80s films over the years and especially things more recently like Ash vs Evil Dead and Grown Up With like Jeff Burr's Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 and you know, original Toby versions of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The first thing I think of when I think of exploitation movies is a chainsaw. But when I think how sort of quaint the August catalogue is, and you can literally flick through and see like frozen Casio watches and you know, bedding and toilet roll holders and real nice things. Then you've got the old chainsaw there, you know, it's like, oh, chainsaws. This is one of those things though as well and I know we talk about nostalgia a lot on this channel but I always think like when I was a kid the holy grail of TVs was a 21 inch TV. If you're still watching television on a small screen set you're missing a lot. Here for example is a close-up on a 10 inch set. See how much smaller it is than my head? Now I'd like to show you the same close-up on a 21 inch set. There. Just look at the difference. She's as big as I am now. You know, like, if you won one on Bullseye, or you had one as a kid, if you know, somebody across the street had one as a kid, you were like proper Charlie Big Potatoes. 
and when I very first got my very first 32, 33 inch Philips widescreen TV, I was like, oh my God, it was like living in the future. And you know, when it was linked up to my laser display, it was like, wow, well, look at this, a 4K LG 75 inch widescreen TV. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know there's always this disparaging thing where people think you've got a big tally, they think they like the cinema and forget cinema screens are like 40 feet and 50 feet wide. But a 75 inch TV, still pretty darn awesome, right? This as well, this, this full page here just really caught me eye and it really genuinely did. And I'm sure that like five years from now, people, I'm sure people will forget again and be like, oh, but vinyl, can you still get vinyl? But we're going through a bit of a vinyl resurgence, even though it never really ever went away, but people like to think it do, does for some reason. Yeah, but a full page of record players there. Got a couple of year portable pitiful picnic players there and some proper turntables that can actually fit a full size a good full size record right that can fit a full size record on there that's sticking out the end but yeah that's pretty cool and then this was something that i can't go over these still selling these even though i'm really into like old school technology and you know to me still playing vhs videos that's the i've got a vhs video in here which they might have one on online i'll have to check that actually but you can get audio cassettes basically a cassette walkman and they really old-fashioned rectangle tape decks where you could you know plug an ed into the headphone jack and you know you plug it into a spectrum and things like that you can believe it's 2016 you could still get a perfect tape deck that would work with the zx spectrum pretty cool right what i was saying as well though how crazy the orgos catalog is you can just get stuff that instantly makes you think of text chainsaw massacre or something really quaint like a pair of earrings that's actually one thing I meant to mention. The first 86 pages of this catalogue are jewellery, so, you know, not as you like, ladies things, just, uh, you know, just get those 86 pages and, you know, start a fire with them or something. My woman, she loves Argos, man. My woman loves Argos because of that catalogue. Women love catalogues. Catalogue to a woman is like the Bible, except real. But one great thing about this Orgas catalog, and every Orgas catalog pretty much is they've just got such random stuff on it's stuff in there. And this is one amazing thing. A giant Thomas the Tank Engine mural and a giant Spider-Man sticker, a giant Cinderella sticker, and a giant Captain America sticker. One thing about any kind of catalogue though, and like I said, the Ultimate Winter catalogue is the one where the, the toys are just like, the last third of the catalogue are just cool toys. But here's this Zuma Chimp. Robot Monkey. I go bananas. As seen on TV, allegedly, and this is something I don't think the August catalogue I've used to do before. By now, pay six months later. The Argos, it's, it's gone mad this year. Like I say, if same day delivery wasn't crazy enough, you know we've really gone into the future, we've gone full Star Trek Beyond. This is your PlayStation VR headset. So if you want to look like a complete Looney Tune and Windy Miller going, oh yeah, I'm controlling the Batmobile, you look, it's exactly the same, I'm like Batman. You get one of them and look like a bigger dick than you already are. And here we are, right in the future. Uh, if that makes sense, the present, but uh, try and future proof stuff. Got an Xbox One here, 4K Ultra HD. Uh, it's a brand new version of the Xbox One. Got used to saying Xbox One now, doesn't seem that silly anymore. And uh, finish off with quite a strong item here but proving the old world's gone completely insane and you don't know where you stand anymore with anything because we're out in the kids section here and what sums up kids toys better than a Lego Dimensions Mr. T figure because nothing the kids want more than a 50 year old action hero. You're crazy. But don't get wrong, Mr. T, and I pity the fool that anybody doesn't like Mr. T, keep it locked. See you, 
and I, and I handed her this little piece of paper. And she just looked at me and went, okay. Go to checkpoint B.